Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another brand new video. Now in today's video, we'll be looking at the NES Master and Master System emulators released for the PS4. So this, this is NES and like the Sega Mega Drive, something like that. Um, to be honest with you, I never really used the Master System, so I'm not too sure about it. But I can tell you about the NES version. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a NES emulator. Now this is a native one for the PS4, so rather than running this through the PS2, this one actually runs through the PS4 and they can load games off a of USB. So that's pretty cool stuff guys. Now um, in this video I'll be showing you how to obtain the emulators and I'll be showing you how to run them and get the games to work. But I will be not providing any links to uh, the actual games themselves. You guys have to get your own um, get your own ROM files however you obtain them. That's up to you. I would say back them up yourselves if you can but um, otherwise it's up to you how you go about obtaining them. Now. Um, the releaser or the person who's released this tool is Morpheus so I believe that he would have created it too if he's uh, released it or ported it however he's gone about it um, with that being said this uh, tool is, is is very good but it's still a little bit of work in progress um, you'll see what I mean later when we get um, into the game so let's um, let's take a look so what you're going to need to do is download them so download these two links so if you click it it'll just uh, redirect you to Mega and you can download it so I've already got mine downloaded I'm not going to do it again um, I'll show you where mine are downloaded now so let's take a look so I've got mine here so they're my files um, and also we've got everything else we need so that's right so make sure you've got these downloaded and you're gonna want to put them on a USB so that you can install them so I'll open up another folder and get my USB there here we go. So you're going to just want to dump the files in here. Alright. Once you've put them in there, you should be um, should be okay to install them. And you're also going to want to make a folder called ROMs. So right click or just press Control Shift N if you're on Windows and um, make a new folder called ROMs. Now I've already done mine so I'm not going to replace the one I've made. Um, once you've made that folder, you need to go inside it and you put your ROMs in there. So this is the NES ROM the NES ROM that I've uh, got, this is the only one I have so um, like I said pop that in the folder and um, you should be good to go this is quite an easy video guys, uh, should be very easy to follow as long as you've got all this done um, next what you're going to want to do is if you're hosting your exploit yourself you're going to want to run your exploit so that you can uh, so that you can connect to your computer otherwise if you're doing it um, externally with uh, someone else's website make sure that you run the exploit um, their way, however you want to go about it, make sure everything's set up so you can run your exploit. And um, let's go over to the PS4. So as you can see, I am currently logged in on the PS4. Now I'm going to try and get some sound for you guys. Let's see if I can get that to happen. There you go. Should be able to hear this. So look, I'm actually going to switch the input on my monitor so that I can do this in real time rather than lagging a little bit behind. So just listen to what I say. It might be a second ahead of what you see. But um, anyways, you're going to want to go over to your settings section and then you're going to want to open up the user guide and helpful info and uh, launch the exploit. Now, as you can see, I'm doing it through um, the way that I usually do it. If you want to know how to do this, just um, watch my previous videos showing you how to run your own exploit and uh, you should be good from there. Then you're going to want to go, to, sorry, you're going to want to go over to your firmware version. So I'm 4.55, we're going to click on that and we're going to go hen to enable hen. So we're going to let it load. Now this occasionally does crash as you can see it did there. It'll restart and try again. It's crashed again. Let's try it one more time. And as you can see now this time it's actually told me that we're all set. And you can see the little message that's come up on the screen. So you want to go down to your home menu again. Leave it open. Don't back out of it. Um, you're going to want to go to settings again. And once you've opened up the settings, you're going to want to go all the way down to your debug settings all the way at the bottom, as you can see right there. And you're going to want to click on debug settings. Then you want to go to game. And then you're going to want to go down to the package installer. All right. Whoops, sorry guys, I actually forgot to tell you to unplug your USB. Unplug your USB from your computer and plug it into your PS4. Um, go back to the previous page on your PS4 as well. Uh, once you've plugged it in, just give it a second and go back to your package installer. There you go. So my packages are showing up now. 
So you're going to want to install the NES MU and Sega MU. So I will go ahead and install those now. And that's one of them done. Now I'm going to install the other one. And there we go, they're both done. So now we should be able to go back to the home screen and there you go. We've got our NES and our Sega emulators. Now I will open up the um the other one first, not the NES one, the, the gear system as it's named here. Just because I don't have a ROM for this, I'll show you how it works. And then I will go into the NES one. So as you can see, it's asking you to um press X to load the ROM from the ROMs folder and the USB. If you press X and you have a ROM in there, it'll find it. If not, it'll give you this error message so you can press circle, but it won't do anything unless you have a ROM in there. I don't have one to show you guys, unfortunately, so I can't show you that, but I can show you the NES ROM. So let's go into the NES version and let's open it up. Now I see it says press X and once we press X, you can see we've got our Super Mario Bros. ROM. So let's open that up and you've got single player or multiplayer. Um, won't let me select multiplayer, so we're just going to go single player. And you should probably be able to hear it shortly. It's a little bit buggy, like as you can hear, it sounds like it's struggling. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know if this is just a glitch at the moment or if this is just uh, due to compatibility with the PS4 CPU or anything like that. But, um, anyways. This is where we're at, so as you can see it's working very well, apart from the audio. Um, it is a bit laggy as well when um, you give it commands. As you can see it's a little bit, eh, how you going? But um, apart from that it works, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please make sure to rate and comment and subscribe and if you want to stick around to watch me finish this level, uh, please do so. If you guys have any further questions in regards to this, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And um, otherwise, I guess pretty much it. Let me know what you guys decided to play and what sort of nostalgia you guys are having now. <laughs> if you guys have any video ideas for me, please uh, don't forget to hit me up in the comments down below. And um, pretty much anything if you just want to talk to me. I usually read the comments. I reply to almost everything depending on how long it takes um, for me to reply. Sometimes it really depends on what I'm doing because I get quite busy sometimes but trust me I usually reply within a day or two maximum all right now um, that's it guys just finished the level so um, I guess I'm gonna end it here for real I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video guys peace out